Hi guys, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi, I am. Hi, sir. Hi, teacher. Hi, How was your Mother's Day celebration? Hi, Eric. Tell me. It was for me. It was it was a normal day. I just <laughs> sent a, a a text to my mom because I am not living with her. Okay. So I mm. think I missed her, but yeah. it was cool because I, I know that I am I am saving yeah. her because sometimes I have to go outside to the supermarket or something like that. So yeah. it, it is the best option. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Okay. Yeah. But that was good because you missed her so much. So next time you see her, it's going to be, the, the, the celebration is going to be even better, right? Because you miss yeah. her so yeah. much, so it's going to be... Okay, thank you for sharing. What about you guys, Sarah, Eduardo? How was your Mother's Day celebration? Hi, Eric, good evening. Are you hey, Chair, I, I have uh, Sarai on my WhatsApp. Ah, okay. I guess that you can hear hear her. Listen to her. Okay. Hi, Sarai. Yes, I can uh, listen to you. Mm -hmm. Silence her call. Oh, okay. Super. Okay. Not a problem. Hi, Ricardo. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Hi say you hi <laughs> okay <laughs> say fine thank you uh, well happy mother's day to you who have to all of you who are moms and dads and you know for those of you who are also dads without a mom so and for your moms of course and your grandmothers and your aunts and all your relatives friends and that are you know mom mother's day is not just May the 10th, right? Like I was telling uh, Paolo. So next time you see your loved ones, please make sure you celebrate, you throw a big party and you celebrate uh, in a different way, right? And let them know how much you love them and miss them, of course, okay? Well, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and with your families, of course. And so today we're gonna get started with uh, unit three. So today we're going to be going over the platform a little bit. I usually never do this because uh, I usually have material of my own, you know, as an additional resource. But I want I want you to start getting familiar with the platform for you to have an idea where we are at right now. So today we're going to be taking a look at additives in ing and additives in ed. So additives used in the past tense and also additives used in the present continuous. Okay. So I'm going to be sharing my screen. That way you guys get to see a video. I sent you a couple of resources. I'm going to be sending you more. Okay. Um, so let's see here. And there we go. Okay. So we're going to get started with... Melissa and Michelle Kekera. We're going to get started with the platform. So going into the platform, this is the first, usually when there's a grammar presentation, you usually have a video. I don't know if you guys actually go over the video or just let the video play. But this time I think it's important because it gives you important pieces of information that will help you later on develop your knowledge check. So we're, I'm going to play this video. So let's take a look. And after the video, you're going to tell me what's the difference between uh, an adjective in the past and an adjective in I, using an adjective with ing, okay? So okay. let's find out. Tell me if you're able to listen to the video. Welcome. This time you. Can you listen to the video? Yes. Yes. Okay, super, super. We learn about participles uses adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Participles as Adjectives. Present Participles.
Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two, I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ed equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired, exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. I'm going to stop there, okay? Um, so, let me go here. So, basically, it's as simple as, what's the difference between using ED and IND for you guys? Mm -hmm. I have it here. Do, I... Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, um, okay, I think... Um... We are gonna use ed when uh, when we are d describing how how we feel. For example, if I am bored, uh, I am bored because of a movie or because I am in my house and I am not doing anything. Okay. I am describing myself how I feel, mm -hmm. so I am gonna use ed. And okay. from the other side, um, we are gonna use ing because we are describing a uh, thing how. Uh, how is the action? That, that is what I, I understand. Super. Actually, ED, it's going to be about you or that person in general. But adjectives with ING, it's going to be describing usually things that are causing that particular feeling regarding that person. Okay? So like you were saying, you are bored. Why? Because the movie was boring. Okay? You're, I am bored because the movie was boring. Not you. 
the movie was boring, okay? So ED describes a particular feeling like what we have here on the screen. And adjectives ending in IND describe the person or the thing that is causing that particular feeling. So it's your surrounding that is making you feel bored or it's making you feel tired or it's making you feel um, annoyed, etc. okay? And usually for this, because it's ED, we're gonna be using regular verbs. As you know, regular verbs and in ED, irregular verbs are the ones who stay the same or its structure or a letter in the structure will change. Let's do the following worksheet to practice. Okay, we're gonna do it together. Who wants to start? Who wants to start with the first one? Satisfied. But I want you to read the sentence so I can I can actually listen to you reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one. It is very satisfying. Satisfying. I want you to read the entire sentence. It's very satisfying to know that the contract has been signed. 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 Huh? Okay, firmado. That's signed. Mm -hmm. It is very satisfying to know that the contract has been signed. Okay, let's do number two. We're going to find out at the end. It rained. Who wants to help me? It rained? It, it rained, rained on Saturday. So, go on. You, you, you do it. Okay. It rained all Saturday, so we couldn't go out, and we were bored. And we were bored. Very good. And we were bored. Uh huh. Number three. It's useless making her study more. It's so frustrating. The O becomes an O. Remember, O. Oh, so it is frustrating. Frustrating. Okay. Very good. Uh huh. Very good. Number four. Uh, a new okay. Miss Universe is a stunning beauty. Stunner. Stunned or stunning? Stunner uh, with ED. Stunned yeah. beauty. A stunned beauty. Okay. It's uh -huh. like, oh, like, wow. Okay. An amazing beauty. Okay. That makes you feel like in shock. Okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. Have you heard the alarming news about the prison riots in Atlanta? Have you heard the alarming news about the prison riots in Atlanta? Do you riots. know what a riot is? Do you know what a riot is? Yes. No. What is a riot? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's a riot? What is a riot? Revuelta. Yes. Yes, it's actually that. It's so when when the press well when any person starts complaining, that's a riot. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a riot. It's when a person starts complaining or a group of people start complaining about something and they take uh, they take uh, a place uh, or people and they start. And they start complaining for something they need or they want. Okay, that's a riot. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number six. Joanne and Kevin are very excited. Excited. Excited, excited about their wedding yep. ceremony. Okay. Yep. Number seven. Who wants to help me read? The students didn't seem interested. Interesting. Interested. Like a tilde yes. in the letter E. Interested. 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 The students interested. didn't seem interested in their teacher's explanation. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Number eight. Uh -huh. Who wants to help me Turing, with number eight? Mm -hmm. Turing, Turing around Europe in two weeks must be very tidy. Okay, a touring round so the OU becomes an OW. 
touring around Europe in two weeks must be very tiring. Okay, very good. Round. Next one, number nine. Who wants to help me? Betty? Betty what was amused at the look of my face. Okay, no. Betty was amused at the look of my on my face. Uh -huh, very good. Number 10. The Prime Minister's outfit was very... Pleasing. Pleasing. Okay, pleasing to the eye. Okay, very good. Number 11. Don't, Don't look, look so, so surprised. 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 Don't look so surprised. Your project won because it was the best. Okay, very good. Number 12. John was really annoying. Annoying? No, John, John has a really annoying habit of staring at people. The first one or the second one? The first one. Annoying. Okay, John was really annoying. John has a really annoying habit of staring, staring, like quedarse viendo a alguien, directly staring at people. Okay. Oh, uh, number 13. We were too embarrassing or embarrassed to ask him for a loan. Embarrassed? Embarrassing. Embarrassed. Loan is prestamo. Loan is prestamo, by the way. Mm -hmm. Number 14. Dave's parents are really alarmed, alarmed. by his persistent misbehavior. Misbehavior, uh -huh. misbehavior. Very good. Number 15. George is so frustrated. Frustrated. Tildena, you. Frustrated. 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 Very good. His chemistry project isn't going well or very well. Okay, number 16. We were all stunned. By his sudden death. By his sudden death. Mm -hmm. Number 17. I don't find his jokes very amusing. Amusing, I think they are rather crude. Okay, they're not fun, they're rude or they're dark. Okay, it's another way of saying that, crude. Okay, number 18, I'm reading an exciting or excited adventure story at the moment. Exciting. exciting. Very good. Number 19, my mom finds fishing. Boring. 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 And Boring. she never accom accompanies, accompanies, accompanies that. Accompanies. Uh -huh. Accompanies. It's like go with that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the last one. They are ne never satisfied. Satisfying. They are never satisfying. They always grumble about everything. Do you know what grumble is? What is no. grumble? It's like pitufo gruñón. So it's like to be all the time in like that mood, to be a grumpy. So grumble is like complaining about everything, right? That's to grumble. Okay. It's too cold. It's too hot. It's... Uh, I don't like this weather. It's like, uh, I don't want to go outside. I, so you're always complaining about things. So that's grumble about everything. So complaining. Let's find okay. out what's your score, guys. Good job as a team. <gasps> ton, ton, ton. Okay, so we, good job, guys. You have a nine out of 10. Let's find out. Okay, a, mini, a, a new Miss Universe is a stunning beauty because you're describing, what are you describing? The beauty the ING. Exactly. The beauty in her, in Miss Universe, right? What she causes when you see her. Okay, a stunning beauty. That particular feeling. And the last one was the, the mistake. They are never they're they're describing they. They are never satisfied. It's talking about them and how they feel, not about the situation. Okay. So it's they are never satisfied. Rather than that, good okay. job. Okay, super. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set you guys in groups. Can I send you a worksheet, right? On WhatsApp. And so I'm gonna give you a letter, okay? 
when you are in the groups. Some of you are going to be A and some of them are, are gonna be B. So you have a couple of questions there. And just for FYI, it's this worksheet, you should have it. Let me show you. This is the one I sent you. Do you guys have it? And what's up? Yes. Okay, so some of you are going to be A and some of you are going to be B. Those of you who are A are going to be asking B's questions. So that's the reason why I'm going to set you guys in two, only pairs. So you should be asking each other, okay, questions. So I'm, first I'm gonna set you in groups and then you can decide, you can decide whether you're A or B or I, you decide if you want me to set you as A or B. Okay, it's either or. So the question, if you're A, you will have questions whether with ED or ING. It's just a, a witty witty activity. So it's just a talking activity, okay? Okay, so I'll give you a couple of minutes so you can practice ED versus ING with adjectives, okay? Okay. Let me see. <sighs> We have eleven. I'm gonna make five. teacher. There's just gonna be one of one. Uh huh. Yes. Yes, sir. I do when when Sarai, because we are in the WhatsApp chat. Okay, sure. So don't log. So don't log into the group. Okay, stay with her. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so go ahead and participate. Where is Sarah? In the crime series, okay, uh, because I'm uh, I I like to investigate the, the investigations, the mystery, and um, uh, the and sometimes I'm surprised about the which who is the guilty person about uh, some crime for example investigation discovery <laughs> yes <laughs> i okay. like investigation discovery <laughs> and you believe you um, for me it's the same i like to to show the the that kind of tv programs like a series and cc and i or different program play like like this and you already i didn't get the information or i don't know what have, what i have to look for okay the number one is what is kind of tv program are you interested in interested interested in right. like till the letter i interested interested I guess I'll, I, I will be just listening. Okay. Okay. And the number two, uh, Ovidio, when was the last, when was the last time you were embar embarrassed? Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Uh, I called uh, two days ago and uh, the, the little dog started to, to bark okay. and the client told me do you have a do you have a, a dog what is happening right and i was really embarrassed <laughs> yes yes it's true but i guess yeah. customers so, right now they know that you guys are in home office right like they know you're working from home but then again they get like they get yeah, surprised yeah. But that was really funny 
Actually, well, it, it was really funny. Yeah, it, was, it was a little bit embarrassing. Yeah. I think that soap opera are a little bit boring, but I, I find it boring right now. But I used to watch soap <laughs> opera with my mom because we we only had only one TV, so <laughs> that's what okay. we, we we were watching. What were some of but your favorite I, soap operas, Ricardo? Tell us when you were young, younger, not young, oh, but younger. Okay. <laughs> um. La, I don't know is this artist ah Talia uh -huh. Ma Maria Mercedes uh -huh. eh, Ma Maria La del Barrio I don't remember the, the name of the other one but all of the Talia so popular I, I used to to watch them <laughs> okay what about you Jaime? Yeah. Mm. In my case, um, maybe the, the TV TV program of divas of um, mm -hmm. uh, Milena, tu amiga. I don't know this. Those this are show. called talk I, shows. Those are called talk shows. Call call talk shows. That's how they are oh, okay. called. Talk, talk show. Talk shows. Talk okay. shows. Mm -hmm. Talk show. Okay, in, in my case, this is boring. I hate hate this program. Talk shows. Yeah, all the all the especially the local ones or the, because there's also international ones like Oprah or Ellen DeGeneres or Caso Cero. No, mm -hmm. Caso Cero is not one. But I would say like Tolkien, Familia, and those type of shows. All of them when there's a lot of talking between, you know the host and her guests or his guests those are called a uh, talk shows mm -hmm. okay okay it's a, okay there's a the next question what makes you feel relaxed uh, what what mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know, no sabría. Pasemos a la otra. Sí, es el lado. Okay. Eh, número tres. What may you feel reflected? Relaxed. ¿Cómo es? Relaxed. Relaxed. Mm -hmm. relaxed. What makes you feel relaxed? I maybe. I make feel relaxed when I feel relaxed. I go. I feel. Okay. I feel relaxed I feel, when I feel relaxed when I go to the beach, when I uh, uh, vacation. Is correct. I have. Mm -hmm. When you when I have vacation or when I'm cooking, like it could be any hobby, any activity, not necessarily like a state of time, but it could be any activity that can relax. For example, for me, watering the plants, showering the plants relaxes me. Like getting myself wet, like making my feet get wet, that relaxes me, for example, just to give you my example. So it's something, okay. I don't know, I, I, I just enjoy doing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it relaxes me, but it could be anything else, reading a book, or how, like you say, like swinging on the Listen hammock at the beach, uh -huh. or listening to music, to classic music, jazz music, pop music, romantic music. Uh -huh. So that could also be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Number three, talk about some surprising news you heard or read about. Oh. Right. What was the question? Uh, talk about the time you were terrified. <gasps> earthquakes. I was terrified. I, 
Me too. I am very terrified with the earthquakes. I have a trauma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a trauma since the earthquake of 1986. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you, Ovidio? Uh, it's for... Um, it's possible when when it was the 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 earthquake in two thousand thousand one. Um, talk about the time you you were worried when I can see the 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 soccer. When I couldn't, <laughs> when I couldn't watch? see the soccer watch. watch. Uh -huh. Why were you worried about a soccer match? Tell me. <laughs> because I don't have to do the whole weekend. And it's, which was which was your team? Um, for El Salvador, I my team is. Fast. Oh, okay, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. And I like to 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 see or to, to, to watch. watch. To watch. To watch. You watch the TV what is the difference in see and, and watch? When you see, it's just you don't pay attention to it. Like, hey, see, there is an a. Uh, there is a chicote on my window and it is not going to, oh, okay. And then you're just not going to pay that much attention. Watch, you always use watch with TV, with movies, with a soccer match or a basketball match or so, because you're spending time there paying attention to it. So you're watching a soccer match, you're watching a movie at the cinema or you're watching a performance at a, a concert, a pianist or, so you use watch when you're spending a lot of time actually doing that activity. That's when you actually do it. You use okay. that word. Mm -hmm. That's okay. when you use that word. Okay, thanks. And when in my case, I'm, I feel worried when I'm going late to my work. <laughs> Okay. I never go late to my work. I am never late to my work. Mm -hmm. I never lately my work. And I'm we we may continue, I think. Okay. Or we are gonna return with the teacher. So um the question number eight. How can you help someone who is depressed? Um, I think when someone is depressed, the, the better that you can do is listen. The best? The best, okay, the best you can do is listen because yeah, sometimes you can give a wrong advice and the only thing that people need is something to, to hear, to hear they. I think the, the better way, the best, I think the best way. The best way. Okay, yeah, you're right. I think because sometimes we don't know what is happening with, exactly. with the other person, so we may help them just exactly. listening, right? Yes, exactly, just listening uh, uh, to be uh, here for the person. Yeah, all right. Well, um, I to go the beach. Okay. Uh -huh. What's your question, Jocelyn? What kind of activity do you think are exciting? What kind of activity do you think are exciting? Hmm. For you? What what kind of activities do you think are exciting? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, for me, I ex I exciting when I get a uh, Good, great. 
when I get good grades, uh -huh. yeah, I get good grades when I I learn to different new things. Okay, very good. Uh huh. Or uh, when I when I learned about the new vocabulary. Uh -huh. When I learn new vocabulary, okay, that's great. That's great. That's great to hear. For me, an, an activity that is exciting is to go to Dollar City and find something new because I love, I love, you have no idea, I love doing crafts with my kids, right? <laughs> and decorating. So I love to go to Dollar City and find new things. And I, I didn't see this before. It's amazing. I don't know. I find it exciting. I guess I'm old now. <laughs> okay. What about you, Rosie? What's an exciting activity for you? Um, I to go to the beach. To go to the beach. Oh, yeah, I think that's also super. Uh -huh. I like it. Um, I don't know. To travel, like the picture you shared with me. That you yeah. had that, that was, that must have been super. That time yeah. that you traveled and you went to the to Paris to that to the museum. What was the name of the museum? I forgot the name of it. Where the Mona Lisa is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, amazing. Super. Nice picture. Uh -huh. okay. Let me go to another team. And we're almost coming back, okay, for another activity. Okay. No, we're in Paris. No, 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 no. How was your activity, guys? Very well, teacher. Okay. Well, our last activity is we're gonna. I'm gonna be sharing a YouTube video, and uh, we're gonna be identifying ing and ed to practice a little bit more. And I love this type of activities with videos because they're 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 using not only spoilers but they're also using. TV shows, and that way you also put in practice your listening, okay? But before we do that, before we go into the video, I want to take you back to the platform so we do the exercise really quick, and then that's going to be our last activity. The, the, the platform activity, the knowledge check, let's do it together, and then we want to go into the video, okay? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so going here to the knowledge check, let's do the exercise together. Um, number one, who wants to help me? Johnny Depp is a very amazing or amazed actor. We're describing him. Amazing. 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 Okay, amazing actor. Yes. Okay, number two, I find animated films, by the way, this is a, a 3.4 knowledge check. Um, I find, and in case you want to do it with me on your systems, that way you just do this exercise. I find animated films amusing or amazed? Amusing. 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 Very good. I am not interested or interesting in science fiction movies. Interested. 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 Fantastic. Very good. Very good. I am bored by watching TV or I am boring by watching TV? Boring. 
bored. I'm bored. I am bored. Okay. I thought Jurassic Park was an excited book or exciting book? Exciting. 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 I am fascinated by J.R.R. Tolkien's novel or fascinated by? Fascinated. 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 Okay. It is surprising or is surprised that horror movies are so popular? Surprising. surprising. Good job. Super. I was really shocking or shocked? Shocked. Wait, shocked. Oh, shocked. There's a mistake here. Okay. Yeah, but it's shocked. Yes. It is shocked. The, the correct is the second one. If you, choose, if you choose the first one. It won't give you. Okay. I was, yeah. okay, I'll go. I'll, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Yeah, because there's a mistake. I'm going to, just give me a minute. I'm just going to print screen it. So, okay. The mess was disgusted or disgusting? Disgusting. Uh, disgusting. Disgusting. Very good. I always find thrillers too confusing or confused. Confusing. Confusing. Very good. Two. Take a look. Dun, dun, dun. Super. Yay, we Yay. had a Yay, guys. You you scored a straight 10. Good job. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a quick video. Okay. Um, it's going to be about, it's going to be about a, parts of series, parts of movie trailers. I think it's more serious. So I want you to find out and identify your ED endings and adjectives with adjectives and also IND endings with adjectives, okay? Okay. Okay. At the end of the class, I'm going to send you the video in case you want to watch it again, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Let me know if you don't listen to the sound, please. I can't listen to the sound. You seem agitated. Did you listen or not? Yes. No. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Now, now. Grace Anatomy. Very good. That's Grace Anatomy. Okay. Good. Good. She's having a heart attack, and you're not helping her. That's agitating. Thank you. Were you able to identify the ED and the INT? Or you want me to replay? Yes, yes teacher, please. Okay, super. I'll do it from here. You seem agitated. She's having a heart attack and you're not helping her. That's agitating. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, when the other say you are not helping. Uh-huh. What is she using? ING. And the doctor used? Agitated. Okay, let's find out. ED. Let's find out now with subtitles. You seem agitated. She's having a heart attack and you're not helping her. That's agitating. Thank you. Very good, very good. So the doctor used ED and the other patient next door used ING. Good job. Let's go with the next one. You seem agitated. She's having a heart attack and you're not helping her. That's agitating. Thank you. And yes, it's Grey's Anatomy season 14. Now we're going with amazing and amazed. Pay attention. <laughs> this is amazing. Are you amazed? Did you understand? No, no teacher. No, 
it was very fast. Let's go again with subtitles. Don't worry. <laughs> this is amazing. Are you amazed? So Maggie thinks the situation is amazing. She asked Meredith if she is amazed. <laughs> this is amazing. Are you amazed? So you see, she could you she used the same word in the same con. I'm sorry, both words in the same context, right? So that's why it's, it can be a little bit confusing sometimes. Let's go with the next one. Still Grey's Anatomy. Exhausting versus exhausted. Miranda is talking to her husband Ben about managing her life and career. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Right now you're exhausting. Did you understand what, what she tried to say? Let's try to watch it again with subtitles. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Right now you're exhausting. Her life is exhausting. She is exhausted. She feels exhausted. Her husband is exhausting because it's he makes her husband, teacher. Is it Are you able to see my screen, guys? I can hear you, teacher. Can you listen to me? Hello? Can you listen to me? Hello? Yes, no. Okay. No. Okay. I, I can hear you. Can you... Can you see my screen? Can you see YouTube again? Are you guys able to see my screen, Claudia? Yes, Jocelyn, tell me. I see the screen, teacher, but the audio is not good. Okay, I'm, I'm not playing it. Tell me if you're able to listen to it, okay? I'm not playing it yet. Tell me if you're able okay. to listen to it. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Right now, you're exhausting. Were you able to listen to that? Yes. Okay, super. Okay. So let's go with the next exercise. This was a part of Grace using exhausting and exhausted. Amazing and amazed. And it was amazing. He was amazing. I was amazing. <laughs> we were amazing. What happens when people use the adjective over and over again? What do you guys think? Does it sound good for you? How would you use it that way in English? What do you guys think? Yes. Like, I, would you use I, it? I, I think. Mm -hmm. I think we use it every day in conversations. Mm hmm. Yes, we tend to use the same when we want to make an emphasis on a particular event, feeling, situation. We can, we tend to do that. Like that was amazing. I felt amazed, and it was amazingly good. And and we tend to use the same word over and over again when we want to make an emphasis 
on how good or bad a situation was, right, or an event. And it was amazing. He was amazing. I was amazing. <laughs> we were amazing. So actually, she was talking about the situation. That's why she used amazing, 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 not amazed. In this particular scenario. <clears throat> And it was amazing. He was amazing. I was amazing. <laughs> we were amazing. Let's go with another example. Annoying and annoyed. From what I saw the other day, I could understand why he and some people might find you. What? Doesn't matter. No, hey, go ahead, say it. I know what it is. I've heard it my whole life. The word's annoying. You go ahead, say it, say it. Say, I'm annoying. Sheldon. No, well, it won't hurt my feelings. Go ahead, Amy, say, I'm annoying, I'm annoying. I'm annoying. I'm annoying. Yeah, now, now where are you going? Look, you, you know you want to say it. Say it. Say I'm annoying. Go ahead. Say it. Say it. Say it. Amy, say it. As you can see, as you can see, these are like some examples. These are like some examples that uh, people in a regular talk, Americans use over and over again. And sometimes they are confusing because sometimes it's confusing when to use, especially on a fast or a fast feed conversation, it's very difficult to identify when to use ED and when to use ING. For this, that's the reason why I, I assign you guys a lot of worksheets. The more you practice, the better you get at topics. More than memorizing rules, it's more practicing with exercises, okay? I'm gonna be sending you more links in case you wanna extra practice. A I N G N E D, and that way you can have, um, you can reinforce in case you you need you know to practice more your 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 some verbs and some adjectives. Okay, so I'll be doing that later on tonight. I will be sending you this to you guys. Okay. Well, guys, okay. it was amazing talking to you as always. Okay, thank you so much for joining and being so responsible. I will see you guys. Tomorrow, same time, same place. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, bye, teacher. teacher. Okay, bye, 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 teacher. Bye, everyone. Good night, bye. everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Hey, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Hey, as as far as I know, there's a group on WhatsApp. Can you add me to the group? Um, because sure. I guess I'm not in the group. Sure. Can you? Uh, do you know somebody from okay. the group that you Thank can you send me your much. number? Can you tell somebody from the group? Do you know somebody from the group? What? Do you know somebody from the group? Uh, yes. Tell that person to send me that contact through the group and I will tell the person in charge to add you, okay? So I, I, I couldn't listen to you because the, the audio is coming broken. Ah, okay. So I was telling you to send me your WhatsApp number with that person through WhatsApp. That way we can add you to the group. Okay, uh, I'll so, do it. Okay, super. Okay, thank you. Have a great night. You too. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. See you.